Welcome back to another Mobile Centrics Tips and Tricks. My name is Derek, and today I'm going to be showing you how to repair an iPhone with no power. The iPhone that I'm going to be working on today is an iPhone 10, but the principles and the strategy behind diagnosing and fixing a no power issue basically apply across all of the iPhones. So let's get into the video. One of the first things that we're going to do in order to diagnose this is connect it up to a power supply. This will tell us quite a few things. This will tell us if there's a short, because if there is a short on a main power rail, it will automatically draw current even without prompting it to boot with a power button or a lightning cable. If we don't have a short, then we know that it's a secondary issue. Could be that there's an issue with a secondary line or something like the NAND. The very common failure on the iPhone 10 to have a failure on the NAND rail. So let's take a look, connect it to the power supply, see if it's a short on one of the main power rails or if it's something else. All right, so let's take our phone, let's take out the battery for a second and find our battery connector and we will connect it up. All right, we've got power supply set at 3.8, which is right around where a battery would be. We'll go ahead and put power, or we'll turn on the output and automatically I have a 0.001, you can see it's drawing a little bit, okay? When we go to hit the power button, we're going to see what happens here. I know that I don't have a short on the main power rails at this point, but we do have it drawing something, which means that there is definitely an issue. And when we go to hold it down, the power button, we aren't getting anything. That tells me that it's most likely going to be an issue with the NAND, where basically it cannot access the information it needs to even prompt to boot. I'm gonna take you under the microscope so we can look at those lines and see if we can diagnose the issue. All right, so disconnect this right here. Okay, we've got a couple lines we can take a look at. One of the common We're going to turn on our multimeter here to continuity. And one of the very common fail, one of the really common failures that I see a lot of is right here on this line. And when we test it, we're going to get 0.34. That's fine. Let's go to this line and look, we've got a short. This side's ground on this component. And this side's supposed to be the data line and it's not, it's straight short to ground. So we had definitely have an issue with something on the sign. Let's look at the schematics and see what we're dealing with. All right, so here, let's see, let's pull up. We're looking at an iPhone 10. Okay, so we know that this line was fine. One of the common ones that I see failure. This one also was failing, okay? So this is the PP1 V8 line. And a very common capacitor to fail is this one right here. Uh, not exactly sure why, but this one fails all the time. Let's take a look here and see if we can figure out what the issue is. Let's go down here. And it's actually very obvious to the eye right now, but let me show you kind of what, what I'm looking for. So if we zoom down in on all these components, you can see they're covered in underfill. And as we go down, they look okay, they all look fine. But as soon as we get to this corner, something really stands out. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go down in here with my blade. You can almost see that it, I think what might have happened, it's possible that someone was trying to work on this and they had their screwdriver here and they nicked to the corner. Something has happened here. Maybe when they were putting a screen back, who knows, something touched this and caused a, caused a short. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna gently and but firmly just pop this off the board. Just kind of cutting the underfill and nudging it so we can pop the joints that hold it down. There, off the board. There it is. And if we go in with our multimeter, you can see that we definitely had a shorted component. Hear it beeping. So let's take our probes again. And we will go down and test it out. So this side is ground and this side we are getting 0.238. So we are no longer short. This should come back on. Let's go ahead and connect up the screen battery and see if we can get it to turn on. I doubt it has any charge. I'm just gonna check and see. Grab a cable real quick and plug it in. Let's see if we get a charging symbol. And there it is. Should be good to go, but let's let this charge up and come on. All right. Oh, and we are on charging to 6%. Yeah, we're on working again. No more issue with that. We are good to close this up and be done. Now they aren't always that easy, but given time, pattern recognition, You'll be able to quickly and precisely diagnose and fix no power issues on any iPhone. And those same principles carry over to basically all other smart devices. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.